I wanted to do this while we had him on. We're doing this back to back so we can actually be able to clip this and you can watch it later. And it's the Ryan Ripken show. Hit that like and subscribe button. But we just had Heston Kerstad on probably about an hour ago at this point. But the silent J, Heston, there's a reason why he's a person you need to root for. First off, great guy, tremendous talent with power everywhere. His first home run, first hit in Baltimore is a cutter in that he sends deep into the Camden Yards night. That's a cutter in off it, off the plate, three to four inches. Even despite the game being out of reach for the Orioles at that point, you see what Heston is capable of doing. But Heston even alluded to in the interview, interview, if you go back and watch, he doesn't pull a ton of balls. He can, but his strength is the big part of the field. Because when you look at it, a guy that's that big and that strong, why take away the ability to just do this when you can go all this way? And you're actually going to see in the highlights that Heston's home runs that he's hit so far in AAA, a lot of them are the other way. But here's an example. Pitch is going to be well off the plate. And yes, this is going to bloop in. And sometimes you need to be uh, luckier. It's better to be lucky than good. But in this case, he's good and lucky. Well off the plate, but he stays on the ball so well. Drops it in. Hey, how are you? Hit him more than not. Turns out to be a double. But I think I'm just trying to prove to people that he has great protection on the outside part of the plate. 94 away. He's not trying to do too much. He hits an absolute bullet to left right here. Again, simple hitting, simple approach, simple swing. And you can see with that leg kick that he has. It's one of those where you sit there and you're like, well, wait a minute, that kind of looks funky. But for me, his leg kick when we see it go up here, and this is now the games in AAA, by the way, where he just went absolutely uh, – what's the proper way he says? He just went Ape nuts. Shit. Yeah, that's one way to put it. He went nuts. But when you see – Right here, I just want to say about this leg kick before we show the highlights. He mentioned it. And I said, dude, you know, people sometimes say it looks weird, but for all hitters, you need to have that sensation that you're able to go back, get that balance. And once you can get to this balance point, you can then have so much power going forward, but you got to get to that, you know, I like to call it the hang. You got to have your hang if you have a leg kick like this. He gets to his hang, he gets to his balance position of where he needs to be being back. And as soon as he's able to get to that, he's then able to react and be able to drive the baseball a long way. So here's an example of one of those. That's a homer to left. Again, the power, not trying to do too much. When you're that strong, use the whole field. And this is what makes Heston Kerstad so damn dangerous, is that he can turn a pitch that hitters might or pitchers might think, ah, well, he might be able to get a hit the other way, if worst case. Well, it's like, well, damn, if I leave a pitch like that over the plate, guys like Heston are going to punish me over and over and over again. And I think that's the whole highlight there. I'll keep moving on. In it. And he's admiring it, and, and he very well should. Here's the other one, left center field. Uh, again, it, it is a hitter's park in Charlotte. And unfortunately, I'll be honest, a guy that didn't take advantage of that ballpark myself. But this was the game where he had 10 RBIs, I believe, the Grand Slam, things are going well. And by the way, the weather here isn't great. It's like 48 degrees, freezing, yeah. raining, and they're just absolutely slugging the baseball left and right, just hitting the absolute crap out of it. But the theme with Heston, again, you see that leg kick. He's already in a good position, and it's effortless. It's effortless swings, and that's what makes it so exciting when you watch a guy like him. When you, it's effortless because you simplify what you need to do, you can see yourself have a lot of success. And you have to have natural talent as well. He has both. It, it really is fun to watch. I think I have one more lined up in here. There it is. Hanging slider. Stays right on it. And I don't know. It's visiting the dragon out there. I don't even know where the hell the ball went. But... Another fan has another souvenir because Heston Kirsten has the ability. And I've told people this, and you guys have all heard me on the show. Heston can ma match any person on the Orioles team, in my opinion, as far as power potential. He can go for leading the team in home runs, RBIs, and the ability to be a cornerstone. And people asked me for a long time last year when it was the Dylan Cease sweepstakes and you need to trade these prospects for arms or whatever it may be. Heston Kerstad's not a guy that gets traded. I'm going to be honest right here. He's a cornerstone for the Baltimore Orioles. He's one of the best young hitters, not just 
with the Orioles, but in all of baseball, in my opinion, and he's got a great attitude. But he's a guy, his time's coming. Be patient. But when he gets to Baltimore, I expect a lot more of that, and there's a reason why he was taken so high in the draft. It's not because they're saying, oh, he's going to sign under slot. No. The Orioles thought he was the best left-handed bat in the draft, and they were damn right about it. Heston Kerstad's going to be a Baltimore Oriole for a very long time. And, guys, I'm not going to move the camera back because we've been here for a while and you guys are starting to slump and what's going on. But I want you guys to know also, talking to you all here, hit that like and subscribe button for the Ryan Ripken Show. We'd appreciate that. And let me know in the future who you want me to break down next. 